live. We're live everywhere now. Welcome everyone and welcome to Adobe CC Design. We're going to be talking about uh, color fonts and variable fonts in Adobe Illustrator CC. And for those of you who are like, what are variable fonts? What are color fonts? Uh, I'm going to tell you exactly what those are in just a moment here. And hey, Victoria. Hey, Harriet. Hey, Kurt. Uh, Kurt, if I'm or Kurt, if I'm saying that incorrectly, K U R T, um, but it's a K U space R T. So I'm screwing up the pronunciation of your name. Sorry about that. Bake Like a Pro is over on Twitter watching. Thank you for being there. And let's just get this show on the road. All right. Um, so if you in case you missed it, which is why I'm doing this particular stream. Um, the last major update for Illustrator CC got some new font technologies incorporated into it. And you'll start to see these progress into apps like Photoshop and InDesign as soon as those, those apps are up to date for them as well. But Illustrator was the first to lead with these. And we're going to see how they work uh, from an Illustrator perspective. But just know that once you see how it works, expect it to work that way going forward as soon as the other apps catch up. Uh, so we're talking about two different font technologies. We're talking about color fonts. Uh, these are SVG color um, open type fonts. And we're going to talk about um, uh, variable fonts as well. Now, before you say, okay, that sounds great. Where do I get these fonts? Now, if you're watching this on Facebook, I put a couple of links already in the comments. So you can just scroll up or scroll down, whatever it is and find the link there to click on to get your color fonts and to get, get your variable font samples. For those of you not watching on, on um, Facebook, let's say you're watching the replay or you're watching it on YouTube or you're watching it on Twitter, let me switch over to this browser and show you a couple of links that I posted for the Facebook folks. So the first one, let's zoom in on it. It's just simply color font week. So I know it's a little bit cut off, but it's color font week. Um, oh, should probably help if I switch over to my computer. There we go. Color font week dot font self dot com. So color font week dot font self dot com. And I'm not going to keep repeating it because you can always rewind or watch the replay. And if you missed it. So one more time, color font week dot font self dot com that's the url for the color fonts and for the variable fonts it's actually a blog post Ooh, and it's long so i'm just going to go ahead and zoom in on it you guys can screenshot it or grab it later but it's blog.typekit.com slash 2017 10 19 which was the date it was probably released new dash variable dash fonts dash from dash adobe dash originals and again i'll uh, keep that up for a couple seconds for those watching on the replay or those watching it now that want to just simply um grab the screenshot of this or uh if you're again if you go look at this on the facebook cc design page adobe cc design page i've already post posted the link so you can just click on them all right so with that said that's where you're going to be able to go get some sample fonts um you know, you'll be able to read more description about what this is all about. So here are the variable ones. Here are the color ones. And let me go ahead and dive into Illustrator and actually show you how they work. So I'm just I'm in Illustrator. I just created a blank document. First thing I'm going to have you do that's going to make your life so much better is if you go in and you switch from whatever workspace you're on, Essentials. You probably on if you haven't changed it. You're probably either on Essentials or the Essentials Classic, which is the old one. And you want to switch to typography because if you're on the typography workspace, that will bring up the uh, standard control panel at the top in addition to the properties panel. And you'll just have some controls there that you will find really handy in just a few moments. All right, so let me go ahead and grab my type tool. I'm just going to go ahead and click the, uh, the type tool on the canvas. It's going to put in a sample lorem epsom. Uh, of course, I can type and change that to be whatever I want it to be. So let's change it to... Uh, the URL for this Facebook stream, which is um, facebook.com slash Adobe, Adobe CC Design. All right, so that's the URL that we're on right now. And if I wanted to, um, here, you know what? Let me just 
make something a little simpler. Let's just do um, color fonts because <laughs> I already know that's going to be too complicated for what I'm going to do next. All right, so let's go ahead and just simply highlight color fonts. And uh, again, if you've installed the fonts from the two links that I gave you, they'll appear in your font menu just like anything else. You'll actually be able to see them as color fonts. So I've got a few more examples here that I can play with. Um, you can also um, mark them as favorites. That's what the little stars are for. So if I just turn on my favorites, that way I'm going to quickly get to my color fonts and I'll be able to play with them. So for example, if I choose um, play or yeah, Playbox, that will give me the Playbox color font edition. Now, unlike, and let me make this even bigger, unlike a graphic, this is live text. So if I change that to uh, color instead of, uh, let's do the, the European or spelling of it. So color, <laughs> color fonts, whatever I do, it will give me the color font of my choice that I picked. And of course you can see that the fonts are in color. Uh, means asking, where can I get those fonts? Uh, the links, check the links on your own Facebook. So they're right in this stream. They're right on at the top of the comments or below, at the bottom of the comments. Uh, you know what? I'll paste them in one more time just in case for whatever reason they didn't get in there. Let me copy. And I see the stream here. Let me paste them right into the comments just in case Facebook did something weird. All right. So now they're there because I know I just paste, posted them there and I can see them. All right. So that's where you get the fonts from. All right. Next, um, let's go in and talk about a different one. So let's choose uh, a different font. Let's instead of Playbox, let's choose Abalone and we'll make that one a little smaller. That one's kind of cool too. Notice what it did to the to the F. Why didn't the F change? This really threw me at first. I was like, is Illustrator broken? I'm having some weird problem because I was doing the word business and the B wasn't changing. I'm like, why isn't the B changing to this font? I deleted it, deleted the letter, typed it in between two letters like this, and it still didn't do it. I'm like, what the heck's going on? It's because it's capital. This particular font only works in lowercase. So now if I change it to Avalon, should be fine. So if you get a weird issue like that, check the case of whatever it is you typed because it may not play well with all caps. It may not play well with all lowercase, whatever it is. If you're getting some weirdness, especially on a single letter like I was getting, check the, um, check the uh, case of the font that you typed. Uh, if you font it, they will come. Yes. So this is a really cool thing. Now, of course, you would not use this for body text. You would not use this for something long or elaborate, but it's great for uh, those situations where you need something to stand out like a title. Now, like this one does it in all caps. So um, even though I didn't type it in all caps, it did it in all caps anyway, because that's the way that particular font is designed. So I love, love, love the new color fonts. I think it will be fun as designers, especially as font houses start making more of these. Uh, I think it'll be fun to play with. Um, so you've, I, I've given you some links to go download a couple of free ones. And of course there are some paid ones on, on the color ones, but that's up to you. Now let's talk about variable fonts. I think variable fonts are gonna be fun too. So let me go ahead and move this down a bit. And just let me go ahead and grab my type tool one more time. Of course, I click, it's going to type lorem ipsum in the last particular font that I used. So I'm going to change it back to, let's, oh, let me get out of my favorites and let me just change it to keyboard fingers. There we go. Myriad. And I want to do Myriad Pro regular. Okay. So I'm going to type the word, actually, I'm going to type a different word. I'm going to type the word business. I mentioned I was typing that or messing with that earlier. All right. You know, when you type something in front of an audience, it always looks wrong. <laughs> I think that's the way you spell business. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and make this nice and big. So we'll be able to play with it. And what I want to play with now is the new variable font. And now you'll see why I chose or told you to put on the um, typography workspace. Because when you're in a typography workspace, it's going to be a lot easier to play with your variable fonts. So I'm going to go ahead and select the word business. Of course, you can double click, select it quickly. 
and I'm going to switch to, back to my favorites, and you'll notice that we have some fonts. They, they're not color, but if you look at the graphic for them or the symbol for them, they have open type, which is the O that we're used to seeing, but they have B-A-R on them. That means that those are variable fonts. So any of these that say VAR are variable fonts. And of course, the ones that say SVG are most likely the color fonts. And the ones that don't say either one are just regular fonts. All right, so I got my variable font choices there. I'm going to get out of this for a second. And I'm going to go in and just simply, I don't know, I was in regular Myriad uh, Pro. So let's use Myriad variable concept. So now, and it's even telling me, hey, define the variations here by clicking this little doodad up here. And when I click it, it gives me controls that I ordinarily wouldn't have. Now, you, if you've done any kind of design, hey, Fern, Excel, what's going on? If you've done any kind of design before, you know that um, with fonts, there could be a bold, there could be an italic, there could be a heavy, there could be a dark, there could be a whatever all these different styles. And of course, if you wanted to access all of those different weights, you would have to have each one installed for that particular font family. However, with variable fonts, you get to play with the weight of a single font without having to have all the different variants. Uh, so for example, if I wanna play, <coughs> sorry about that. If I wanna play with the weight, I just dial the weight down. So now I've made it a thin just by dialing it down. If I want to play with it and make it a thick or a bold or a heavy, just dial it up. And I can choose anything in between so I can get the word looking exactly like I wanted to look. And you can even play with individual letters. So I don't have to do the whole word. Let's say I want to use the word sin inside a business and just make that nice and thick. And we can go ahead and even make that a different color. All right. So there you are. Variable fonts and widths and weights inside uh, of Illustrator. And you can still do all the normal stuff you do. So if I wanted to track that, hold down my Option uh, or Alt key and hit the left arrow and tighten that up a bit, I can get that looking any way that I want. But now I've got these cool variable fonts to choose from. All right, so one more time. Let's go down here and just click one more time. Let's get another one. And let's just um, call this one what it is, variable fonts. And again, we'll select that and we'll go up and instead of the myriad variable font, let's try a different one. That one's kind of cool. I think I was using Acumen. Yeah, I was using Acumen playing with that one earlier. So I've got Acumen selected and it's in a condensed light format. But anyway, um, if I were to go ahead and choose my widget, it gives me additional choices. So even at a font by font level, you might some font manufacturers might just give you weight control over the variable. Some font manufacturers give you weight and width. This one's giving me weight, width, and slant. So that will also vary by whoever designed the font. So for example, we already played with weight. We know that that can make it thin or thick. But we didn't play with width. We can actually change the width of the characters themselves, make them expanded or condensed. But we also have slant. Pretty freaking cool. So slant to give me the ability to slant. Um, would be cool if you could after uh, keyframe it in After Effects. I totally agree. It makes things stand out and pulse and do all kind of cool things with your variable fonts. And that would be, a, and speaking of that, Alexander, that would be a cool use because that would be extremely difficult to do today in After Effects because you'd have to keep changing the font. Now with variable fonts, it would literally be a control on the font if it could be animated. So we have to talk to the After Effects team first to get them to support variable fonts and then to get them to support keyframing them so that we can make a font thicker as time or thinner as font time went on. Um, very cool, uh, very cool suggestion actually. I have to see if I can get that, get someone to work on that. That would be awesome. So anyway, that is kind of what I was going to talk about today. You have variable fonts, you have color fonts inside of Illustrator. And soon, um, I think Photoshop already supports color fonts quietly. And I know InDesign is working on it. But um, without any promises that it works in the other apps, just go try it in the other apps. It may work in Photoshop today. It may not. It may work in InDesign today. It may not. 
Uh, and if it does work in InDesign today, it's unofficially supported. So just keep that in mind as well. All right. With that said, Bigdom4 just joined on Twitter. Bigdom4, I am done. So you're going to be watching the replay because I'm finished. All right, guys. Thanks for catching this live stream today on Illustrator variable fonts or variable fonts inside of Illustrator and color fonts inside of Illustrator. I'm trying to be careful not to say that it's an Illustrator font because it's not. These are variable fonts and color fonts that Illustrator supports. That's the difference. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, liked it. Next week, I will probably not be streaming as I will be over at Photoshop World in Orlando. So I might do a live stream or something like that on my Facebook page uh, just to show what's going on with the show. Uh, but that's pretty much it for me this week. Have a great weekend and uh, I'll be back in June for more live streaming and more tutorials on Adobe Creative Cloud. Thanks everybody. Thanks for watching and we will catch you on the next one. Bye everybody. Uh -huh.